Okay, this is uh, part two of my little series I'm doing on I squared C protocol. And if you remember from last time, if you haven't watched it, go back and check this video out first. But all I had going on, I had a, a Mega 2560 telling an Arduino Uno to turn this LED on for three seconds, and then it would tell it to turn it off for three seconds. So I'm going to change uh, change things up a little bit. First of all, this code on the Arduino Uno will stay the same because I still just want it to turn this LED on and off, on and off. And uh, it's still going to keep the same ID. It has, has a uh, I squared C ID of 5. We're going to keep that the same. Um, but now we're going to bring into this mix a TI Launchpad MSP430. Uh, and I'm going to program this using uh, Energia since I don't know assembler and I don't really know how to program this thing in C yet which I hopefully will one day learn but uh, we're gonna try and control this speaker uh, with this launchpad MSP430 whenever this Mega 2560 tells it to play it'll play a little tone on the speaker here so uh, first thing I need to take into account is that the MSP430 is a 3.3 uh, volt device so I'm assuming I need to uh, use 3.3 uh, volts on the I squared C bus so I am feeding uh, the I squared C bus with this 5 volts coming off of the uh, 2560 here so I'm just going to move this jumper up to the 3.3 volt 3.3 volt pin on the uh, 2560 so uh, we're going to lower our voltage on that I squared C bus now uh, I need to go ahead and hook up my I squared C lines and okay if you remember the negative rail on this power bus is the SDA rail so let me go ahead and grab some jumpers okay and I have my jumpers and so we're gonna hook up SDA first SDA is pin uh, port 1.7 here on the uh, launch pad so that's gonna be right here I'll connect that to negative And then S SCL port 1.6, just right here. And I'm glad to see they made the pins on uh, the uh, I squared C for in energia purposes uh, here and here. I guess it's just that way on the chip because I'll be able to use it on my uh, 14 pin chips too. Go ahead and hook the SCL up to the bus here. And now we just need to connect our speaker. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put the speaker on let's see, I'm gonna put it on a 1.4 here. Put the positive side on 1.4, and then I'll just use another jumper. Another one of those DuPont jumpers. to connect the other side of the speaker to ground. There we go. Okay, so I'll just uh, go ahead and go into Energia and program this up and I'm gonna have to program uh, the Mega to send to our new uh, I squared C device and I'm gonna have to uh, program this. This is another slave device. So let's go into software and program it up. Okay, here we are in uh, Arduino first, and this is the code for the uh, I squared C master 
which is the Mega. And uh, just a quick review, including the wire.h uh, library, wire.begin, no parameter because it's the master. I'm waiting uh, two seconds just to make sure everybody else is initiated that's on the circuit. And then here's our loop. We're going to send. Um, we're going to send wire.begin transmission to ID five, which will be the Uno. We're going to write H, which will tell it to go high or uh, it'll set the LED pin to high in the transmission then uh, we wait three seconds okay uh, now we're gonna go ahead and include our other bit of code here wired up again transmission we'll just call the we'll call the uh, launchpad MSP 430 number six and I'll just stay with these uh, H and L's okay and transmission and I'll do a uh, begin transmission could have copied and pasted it's okay Wired up right L wired up end transmission. Okay, so we're going to have it play a tone for three seconds. And then stop. So it's going to go, it's going to light up the LED for three seconds. Then it's going to play a tone for three seconds. Then it's going to turn the tone off and the LED off at the same time. Then it's going to wait three seconds. And it'll start it all over again. So I think we look good here. Now let's go into, first I'm going to go ahead and pull up my slave code because I can copy it for the most part. and we're going to go into Energia once I get there excuse me this screen is just a mess alright can't get to my desktop right now so I'm going to have to go in this way sure that's the newest one where are you at here it is okay energia run Just going to paste that code in, and I'm going to change it. There's going to be a launch pad, and we're going to make this ID number six. And we are using, I put it on pin uh, 1.4. So let me go, happen to have a little uh, pin map pulled up here 1.4. Also, AKA pen six. Okay. Six output, and I'm going to turn this off. I don't need that. Okay. KRC equals wire dot read. If C is H, then we're going to do digital write eight high. Okay. Now this is where we're going to put in our tone code, which I need to remember. Uh, I don't remember what the tone code is, so let me look it up real quick. Okay, tone, pin, comma, frequency. Alright, so we'll do... Um, let's 
that's high. We'll do a tune on six, comma, and we'll do twenty six hundred hertz. I tell you what, we'll go a little bit lower. We'll do a uh, nineteen hundred hertz. Okay. Then once it says low, I think it's tone. I think it's no tone. Yeah. Once it goes low. If C is equal to L, we'll just do no tone there. And that should be good to go. Let me do a verify on the sketch. Uh-oh, we're not good. No tone was not declared. Let's see. Oh capitalization error. Do another verify. Another problem. Too few arguments. Okay, I need to <laughs> need to put a parameter here on uh, 6 apparently. You try again. This is one way to write code. Just keep on compiling it till it works. Unfortunately, this is what it look like looks like whenever a uh, poker dealer tries to write code. Real simple code at that. Okay, it looks like we compile cleanly. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the code to uh, to the Mega and then to the uh, launch pad, and we're going to go take a look and see how it works. Okay, we've got our uh, got our code put in to our uh, Launchpad MSP430 and our Arduino Mega 2560, and we left this code alone. Uh, all we did on the breadboard was hook up SDA and SCL from uh, the Launchpad to the uh, I squared C bus here on the breadboard. Uh, now I need to get power to the launch pad. This computer I'm using right now only has uh, two USB ports on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal uh, five volts input. So I put a modified get a little closer in here. I've seen some of my videos before. You might have already seen this, but if you look at if you look at these two pins here and here on the uh, launch pad I just put two pins and this is a uh, those are the power pins you got ground and plus five volts which is just a uh, just test points for the uh, USB input so instead of plugging this into USB I'm just going to use the uh, use this little test points and I'm going to steal the power from the mega here Let's go ground to the outside pin there, and we'll go plus five. To the inside pin, and it'll be just like it was getting power from the uh, USB port. So, whenever I power, I'm going to turn the Uno on. And whenever I power this Mega 2560 up, what we hope to see is if this is working correctly, we hope to see the the Mega is going to tell the Uno to turn the LED on. It's going to send the Uno an H, and then the Uno is going to turn this LED on. Then it's going to send, three seconds later, it's going to send H over to I squared C address number 6, which is the launch pad, and then we should hear a 1900 hertz tone come out of the speaker while this LED is on. After three seconds of the speaker being on, both should go off for three seconds, and then it should all start over again. So let me go ahead and plug the 2560 in and see if it works. Okay, light comes on three seconds. Speaker plays. Both go off. Okay, perfect. Light, three seconds. Speaker for three seconds. Both go off. Perfect. So now we have I squared C communication between an Arduino, an Uno, Arduino Mega, and 
uh, Arduino Uno and a Launchpad TI MSP430 running Energia. Uh, the next video I think I want to do is I want to program several MSP430 chips, put them on the breadboard by themselves, and uh, try I squared communication, I squared C communication that way. And then I think my I squared C communi my uh, I squared C uh, education will be over. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.